First of all, good evening, everyone. Uh, I have to say that growing up in a filmy household, screen has been a part of uh, those moments when I would run to my hall and look for the new issue. Uh, my brother and I would sit and we would flip through uh, the magazine and we would just be like, Aaj kaun se film star ki photo aai hai? Aaj kya khabar aai hai? And uh, papa ki photo hai kya? So, uh, you know, it's really something, it's very special to see myself on its relaunch cover. Uh, so I want to say thank you so much. Uh, it's really very personal because uh, that little girl in the living room is now up on the cover. So it feels, it feels, uh, it feels awesome. And I have to say that my parents are really, really proud. So thank you so much for having me on the relaunch cover of this iconic magazine. Thank you so much. And of course, my choti to har vak mere paas hai. Mere do do pockets hai. It's in one of them. So I'm tayar. I'm prepared. Whenever I need it, I'll just bring it out. Let's make the magic happen. <laughs> So tell me, 600 crores and countings, 3-2 has been, has been this massive, massive success. So, according to you, you know, who or what is the reason for this, you know, that critical thing that has, uh, that has really worked with the audience, what is that, who is that according to you? You know, I'll be very honest, I truly believe that when 3-1 happened, it happened about six years ago. Uh, Madoc was just up and coming as a, a production house as well. Uh, all the actors in the film, we were at very different paths, uh, stages in our careers. Uh, we were also growing in our own ways. And my personal reaction to when I heard the first part was I felt like I hadn't heard a film like that. Uh, it was based on a true legend, uh, an urban legend, and I was literally falling off the sofa when I heard it, and I felt I'm so glad that they came to me for this film, which is pure entertainment, and I'm genuinely laughing at uh, the dialogues, the scenes. I'm enjoying myself. My character is this mysterious girl who comes and goes, and you're con you're constantly wondering about her presence. So I have to say that the kind of love that the first part itself got. Um, it was immense. It was really, really uh, huge, the kind of accolades that the film got. So I have to say that it all began there. And um, then hats off to uh, uh, our producer, our writers, my uh, director, for them to really crack a sequel because it's important to really not make a sequel for the, for the sake of it. You really have to have some substance if you're going to bring people to the theatres and garner genuine appreciation. So, um, I feel... Hello, hello. hello. I feel like, uh, I feel like they really stood by the of staying true to how a sequel should be made. So, I feel it all started with 3-1 and they did a super job by cracking uh, uh, the story of 3-2, uh, getting all the entertainment factors into the film. We have brilliant actors in the film. Uh, we have some really entertaining dialogues. So I truly, truly believe it has been a fabulous team effort and uh, pure cinematic joy and really proud to be a part of this film. And the audience decides, right? They, they know that they want to leave their homes for entertainment and we're really happy that we could do that for them. And it seems we are ready for three, 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 four. And oh, my director Amar sir, he said ki kahani mil gai hai, three, three ki. So I got very excited and uh, I mean kuch to amazing he, he must have, they all must have thought. So I can't wait to know what that's, what it's about. But it is a powerful statement even in 2024 to have a film called Three. Uh, till a few years back, uh, Hindi filmmakers will give these very powerful macho names to their cinema. And today, Stri is the highest earning Hindi film ever. So uh, in a world of singers, jawans, pathans, tigers, what do you think this success signifies, especially when it comes to the way audience is looking at content? 
I think it signifies a very, very simple thing. A good film always works. And uh, I feel like the audiences only care about that now. And uh, I think that should motivate all of us to pull our socks up and not take anything for granted and really, really uh, make some really good films and stay true to the craft. I think that's what it means. But what about its feminist narrative? You think that also connected? Because one of my favorite scenes in the film has you uh, beating up uh, the demon while the men cover behind you. It's such a powerful uh, statement, right? Yeah, it was a moment when I had a lot of that a girl is coming out of her small and is and I feel like, uh, I mean, just imagine the imagination of the writers, right? It's fabulous yeah. to uh, give a woman her strength in her choti. Uh, I had a great time. Those were my favorite bits uh, to play, uh, uh, to enact. Uh, I just thought it was genius. And um, the fact that it makes sense, you know, so I had a lot of fun and I was like, 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 it was a lot of fun. But can success also be isolating? You have been through the entire gamut. You had a rocky start to your career and then these pop culture movements uh, with Aashiki too, with Heather, with Chichore, Tu Juti and now Sthree. Uh, so tell me, what is lonelier? Is it success or is it failure? And how do <coughs> say your contemporaries react to both? What sort of response do you get from Bollywood ecosystem? You know, I'll be very honest. I still live with my parents, with my brother, uh, my dogs. And uh, for me, uh, it's, it's a blast. My entire journey has been a great time in the film industry. I feel like I've been very, very blessed. And um, my entire family, uh, my, uh, as I said, I live with my parents. I've, I've, they have seen me go through the ups and downs. But to uh, answer your question, I really do believe that uh, failure is supremely essential uh, towards success. And failure is a very big teacher, and it is a part of life. It's absolutely a part of life. And um, I'm very, very blessed to have a fabulous support system. And every day, uh, I'm super grateful for where I am, because I know how many people want to live the celluloid dream, and how many people. My dad, he has come from a non-filmy family. Uh, his stories are so incredible of coming from Delhi. My uh, dadaji had a, a textile store and then uh, my dad told uh, me, you know, you work in Delhi and you do whatever you want in Delhi. And my dad had joined a travel agency. But my dad wanted to act. And uh, he, of course, hopped onto a train and he came to Bombay. And you know, those stories, are those stories that really make me want to keep my head down because my dad really made it from uh, scratch and made it on his own. So I have had a really, really uh, fabulous support system at home. So through and through, through the ups and downs, I've been very, very blessed. I don't know if this answers your question, but you were asking, is it lonelier, lonelier when you're successful or is it lonelier when you're going through failures? I feel like if you have your closest ones with you, you're, you're okay through the entire journey. But I think that also defines you because we see you as this uh, girl who has with them. Is that what you're saying? You know, uh, I recently got a puppy, okay? And uh, now all the, all the more that I feel like, yeah, there is no place like home, very honestly. Uh, there is no place like, and, and it's nice also to just jaldi khake sona, papi ke saath thoda sa time wine spend karna, but aisa nahi ki mein parties mein nahi jati. I don't know why it's become like, oh, she doesn't go anywhere. It's, that's not true. That is not true at all. Yes, I am more of someone who loves to be at home as much as possible. 
um, and uh, you know be with uh, my family and uh, my close friends etc but uh, yeah aisa nahi hai matlab main jaati bhi hu and and this brings me to if i have to add uh, it it depends ki matlab aise hota hai na ki chalo aaj mood hai chalo jaate hain and nahi hai to ghar pe rehte hain it's like that you follow your own uh, drum beat and that's the way to do it uh, let's also you have another family your 93.6 million followers on instagram what a massive massive success just in today's day and age how difficult it is to stay relevant because the trends change faster than anything on instagram also what kind of investment does it demand of you because you're a full time actor who also has this uh, you know huge following for which you have to remain relevant how do you balance both so uh, i do a lot of masti on instagram i'll be honest mujhe bahut zyada maza aata hai aur uh, i have to tell you ki bahut entertaining log milte hain aapko instagram pe jo uh, main apne comments mein milti hu after i put a post or something and i will sit and i will read the comments and i have to tell you it is so entertaining and it is so much fun and there is so much creativity in some people's comments that automatically i feel like uh retorting replying back and um, very honestly i handle my own social media and I, i have a lot of fun with it and the entire credit goes to everybody who shows up on my comments and enjoys and does masti with me so uh, i have to give it to them the credit goes entirely to them i follow you on instagram and you are a lot of fun you are responding to comments and you know your wit always shines through it not do when it comes to films or characters everybody has uh, you know uh, their reservations for instance some people some actors will not do certain kind of intimacy scenes others look at messaging but what is shraddha's no go area i feel like very honestly i believe that my best is yet to come and um, I definitely want to feel when I am going to be a part of a film that it is going to be something exciting for me as an actor. Uh, it is going to be something exciting for me of, to, to be a part of a particular story that is really riveting, that may have a message which is subliminally, uh, you know, uh, passed on to the audiences, and. Um, so i am in that head space right now which is also why you know there was a time where i was doing a lot of films back to back and now it's become the opposite it's like teen saal mein ek release ho rahi hai ya ek you know that has happened with uh, tu jhooti mai makkar and uh, baagi 3 and it's fine like i found my comfort in that now uh, because i feel like i want to be a part of films where i really feel a uh, full field as an actor and i can push myself as an actor as well and definitely do something different from what i've done before which i think you always do because if you look at if we look at your filmography this is one thing that always stands out but i'm not uh, in that uh, you know ki there has to be a lineup of films my next film hasn't even been announced and uh, and it's okay till till i don't feel like you know because it takes a lot for you for anybody to be a part of a film it takes months it takes a lot of work and a lot of prep so till i feel that from the bottom of my heart yeah well i have a very interesting segment planned for you i want to know if uh, how would shraddha kapoor behave if she was to deal with situations your characters faced in your films okay so for ashiki if you have a clingy bro- clingy boyfriend who is threatened by your success how will you react first of all i, I don't think uh, in ashiki that was rahul jaikar's character uh, he was uh, he had a, a, an alcohol problem I, he wasn't threatened by my character's success unfortunately the demon of alcoholism uh, overtook him but if i uh, had a character like run for your life run in the other direction <laughs> where is the exit <laughs> bhago bhago right <laughs> uh 
tutorial. If you are an out, uh, you are there. You are an outsider in what is essentially a boys' club. No, but I was a part of the gang. So what would I do? You are saying. So if you are one of the very few women in what is essentially a boys' club, what do you do? Enjoy the attention. But uh, no, I wouldn't be an outsider. I would be like, "Are buddies?" I'm one of the because kids. because also in school I have been like that. I've also been one of the boys, so I can relate to that. Okay, half girlfriend. Do you have commitment? You have commitment issues in the film, but what about real life, Shatta? Do I have in real life? You know, I am. that full fairy tale romance chahiye in life kind of a person so uh, no half girlfriend business for me in real life tu jhoothi mein makkar a girl who wants a healthy distance from her family but is in love with a boy who wants her to live with uh, in an arranged ma- uh, in a joint family setup you know when you this that's tricky that is tricky because uh, i mean i can't answer this on the spot but also see i live with my family i love living with my family it's that energy of uh, having your family members around and i mean there's constantly a party at home so till i'm not in that situation this one i nahi pata but we have a, i have to share one uh, uh, thing anecdote we have this system in my home where whenever whenever anybody wants space from each other Thank you.